What is going on, YouTube? This is Gavin21202, aka Gavin Orlandi, here bringing you all the latest WWE news, rumors, highlights, and updates. And, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for the views on that Day in the Life video. I really loved making it. I had a freaking phenomenal time at Monday Night Raw. Uh, it was one of the better shows I've ever been to, besides the pay-per-views. It was the best show I've ever been to. Um... It it was up there with, um, that show was probably the best, that was the best regular non-pay-per-view I've ever been to. It was there, and then it it, it came, uh, the SmackDown Live I went to before was very, very close up next to it. But, ladies and gentlemen, with all this being said, it's never a bummer when it comes to Cleveland. But with the news coming in now, if you guys want me to do more of this, I will do more Day in the Life videos. But we're going to get into this situation because WWE news is in regards to did Kenny Omega get out of his N D NJPW contract early to make a WWE Royal Rumble appearance? NJPW star Kenny Omega has been talk over the town ever since an amazing match at Wrestle Kingdom 11, and now that his New Japan contract is coming to an end, a WWE jump is very possible. This has led to many people assuming he would be a part of the WWE before too long. Various sources have confirmed that Kenny Omega's NJPW contract should be up at the end of this month. This led many to believing that he would not be able to take part in WWE's Royal Rumble match this Sunday, like had been rumored and believed for many fans. AJ Styles made his first his debut last year at the event, and it would make sense to think that it would be a perfect time for Omega to make his debut with WWE as well. There are a few things that come into play that would make it difficult for WWE to make this happen. First, if his end, a New Japan contract does indeed expire later in the month, the earliest we would be able to see him was sometime in February. On top of this, we have no idea if Kenny Omega wants to work for the WWE or not. He has made it know, well known that he loves Japan and enjoys working for NJPW. The difference is he knows that he'll never be the top, never be their top guy due to the fact that he's not, that he is not Japanese. Many felt Omega would clearly sign with New Japan, but when did not sign a new deal quickly, many thought something seemed off that. This made sense to speculate. Over according to the Wrestling Observer, the reason for he did not resign as of now was because they have not assured him that he will be a part of the IWGP heavyweight title scene this year. He wants nothing more than a run with that championship, and he has more than earned the right to hold it as well. So, yeah, NJPW cannot possibly give him a run with the championship knowing all of this. He brought more attention to New Japan in 2016 and early 2017 than it ever had before his arrival. If one of man can do that, it's the same that should be the top priority to keep the guy, one of your not main event guys, at the top of the card. All this being said, a jump for WWE for Kenny Omega does not seem as crazy as it once did. The problem came down to when he would jump. He indeed was going to make the commitment to go to the WWE over on JPW. The rumble seemed like a perfect time, but his contract issue came about then. That was before Kenny Omega was the top guy on every wrestling podcast out there. On uh, every single one he has been taken in, take a part in, he has been telling the host that he was a free agent. This is significant as he would be saying he does not plan to sign anywhere. He's open for negotiations soon. It could also mean that simply he wants people to know that he is able to work for them now and then they should make, be making calls to him or his agent soon. This has led to people's speculation. Even the Wrestling Observer has changed their stance from believing Omega was under contract at the end of the month to believing very well could have gotten out of his deal early. If he got out of the contract earlier, then we all thought it could be an indication that he is prepared to jump. However, a Royal Rumble appearance from this debut still looks unlikely as Kenny Omega has already been promoted for an event in Chile the same weekend at the Royal Rumble takes place. The event happened Saturday, so it would have to make a huge flight out of the arena the same night to make the event on Sunday. Either this or he could cancel his appearance last minute, then appear in San Antonio, Texas for WWE Royal Rumble like many speculate. As of now, Kenny Omega could easily be under contract with WWE and is not telling anybody. He could also be under contract with New Japan and doing the same. We will be surely interested this Sunday to see if Omega makes his WWE debut. Don't be upset if he doesn't. However, it's clearly going to be exciting if he does. Ladies and gentlemen, 
If I had to say, I think it's a 50-50 shot. <sighs> in my opinion, I very well think that Kenny Omega will make his debut in the Rumble. That's just me. But don't get mad if he doesn't because, quite frankly, these rumors all came out with AJ Styles. These exact same rumors and problems came out with Styles. But then Styles uh, uh, appeared in the Rumble as number three last year. So if any other WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates in regards to Kenny Omega comes out, I'll bring it to you here exclusively on this channel. But in order for me to do this, I need you guys to like this video, favorite this video, share this on every so social media platform that's way possible. Go pledge me on Patreon.com, check out my Patreon words and link in the description below. And do me one last thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love you all.